Hey, how you doing? Welcome to the coffee house. I see you're looking quite, uh, festive for the holiday. Happy St. Patty's. So, uh, you went over to McDonald's and they didn't have a shamrock shake? You don't know what to do? How about you have a shamrock coffee to start up your day? Let's make you some coffee. Someone got my whipped cream excited. To make this, you're actually going to need some supplies. You know, basically you're going to need coffee, but really you're going to need some mint, food coloring, and uh, vanilla ice cream, if you can get it. In this recipe, we're going to change the color of the water, so you need to know how much water you need. So you can do this in a separate bowl. I'm going to do it right in the coffee pot. So I'm first going to just fill it right up to the amount of water I need. A full pot. It can't be St. Patty's Day if everything is not green. So, you need blue and you need yellow food coloring. You're going to go for a couple more drops of yellow. So, I'm going to do two pots yellow, one pot blue. And then you're going to get a bit of a green. My food coloring is a little bit dark, but blue and yellow, if you remember your color theory, make for green. With my green thumbs, I guess it's time to go into farming. So I'm going to be using a half teaspoon. This all depends on uh, what your personal flavor is. But for me, about a half teaspoon should be more than enough mint flavor throughout my coffee. You can use whatever coffee is of your flavor. Since for me, it's actually kind of late at night. I'm treating this like a dessert coffee. So I'm using decaf. As always, just a handful. Actually, for this one, we're going to do a half handful. That's a pinch. So that's one and a half handfuls of coffee. Oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are playing. You know, it looks a lot like Listerine. It kind of smells like Listerine. Please, dear God, don't taste like Listerine. Hulk smash! Minty! So now while that's brewing, I'm going to let the ice cream start to thaw. The blood of a thousand alien enemies. That right there, that's concentrated luck. Luck is obviously green. Once that finishes brewing, and your whole room starts to smell like uh, someone just brushed their teeth, you turn it off and you set it aside. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. So by now, your ice cream should be good and thawed. So you're just going to want to put a nice, healthy scoop into a cup. Now, some people, they're going to say, oh, you need haagen or you need some high-quality ice cream. I mean, we're talking about imitating a McDonald's drink here. It's not going to be the highest of quality ice cream for that flavor. You want to put in one nice, healthy scoop. If you're really feeling it, put in two, one and a half. It's really up to your flavor profile. But the more ice cream you add, the less coffee it's going to have. Now, because you're going to be changing temperatures rapidly, you want to probably let the ice cream sit in the cup for a couple of seconds. And then you're going to want to pour the coffee in slowly. You don't want the cup to shatter. If you're basic, you got shamrock coffee right here. But it's not complete without the whipped cream. I don't care what anyone says. Hey, for people who don't read labels, you're not supposed to freeze your whipped cream. I learned something today. Luck of the Irish, I guess. So uh, anybody know what to do with your whipped cream if you froze it and uh, then it starts thawing and leaking everywhere? Because that's where I'm at. It's like being 14 years old and watching porn for the first time. You done yet? There's only one more thing to add to it. And what might that be? The cherry on top. There we go. Just just hold it on top. There, look how beautiful. Look, look at how wonderful. Oh yeah. Look, and there we go. So, uh, so far I've made some pretty crappy uh, coffees here in the coffee house. But you know what? This one I think has actually a pretty good chance of being actually really good. It should just be a dessert coffee. Normally, if something's this green, it's full of all kinds of veggies and stuff, so it's usually healthy. So you know what? I'm going to pretend that this is healthy. So, to my health. 
May the luck of the Irish be in my side. <sighs> oh, that is really good. The coffee it adds that savory richness, almost like it's a chocolate. This is just good if you like mint chocolate. Um, it basically tastes like a mint chocolate shake. <sighs> now, as far as like if this is healthy, I mean, it's got a bunch of ice cream in it and some whipped cream. You know, if I had this every day to wake up, I'd be really fat. So what do I give this? I'm going to say this is an 8.59. I'm going to say a 9 out of 10. This is just a great dessert. I want to drink more. Bada ping, bada boom. It has that, that minty, bright flavor. It has a vanilla sweetness. And all that bitterness of the coffee, it feels like it just turned into chocolate. So... I'm actually just struggling not to drink all this while I'm on camera. I am afraid as to what all this food coloring is going to do inside of my digestive system. I'm going to have some really lucky poops. It may look like a blended up Ninja Turtle, but it tastes like a really good time. Until next time, Java Junkies, remember, stay up! If you're getting lucky for St. Patty's Day, use some protection. Really, I just want to see if the insides are green. Well, the paper's giving me hope. Let's see some coffee ground. Oh, oh no, they're, they're actually all just dark. Nothing really special. Very little green seen in these coffee grounds. You can see a little bit of the food coloring over here, but yeah, nothing all that interesting. But now that filter, now that's got some color to it. Oh yeah, this, this is probably not even safe for work.